Today, I'll be reading you Shira. This book is about how Jack's trying really hard to reach his goals. Stay tuned to the very end to see if Jack can win his sheep shearing contest. Let's read! Okay kids, it's time for books. So cuddle up to mum or dad and let's rock and read! Jack Howe had hands the size of tennis rackets, legs like tree trunks and wrists made of steel. Despite his size, he was light on his feet and did an excellent Irish jig. But what Jack was really good at was shearing sheep. Jack's hand blade was like an extension of himself. He sheared sheep neatly with precision and grace. He was lightning fast and he never nicked them with the blade. One Saturday morning in the wool shed, when the shearers were counting up their sheep tallies after the first two hour run, another ringer, Bluey McGee, scoffed at him. Mate, is that the best you can do? I heard you were a gun. Jack smiled. The bell rang for the next run and the blade in Jack's hands flew through the fleece. It was warm in the shed and the sheep wriggled like grubs. Jack found himself so hot, he tore the sleeves off his shirt. He put his head down and kept on shearing. On a typical Saturday morning, shearing 100 sheep was normal. But that day, Jack sheared 144 sheep. When the bell rang a knock-off, he stood up to find all the workers in the shed clapping him. He'd set a new record. I might have underestimated you, mate. Grinned Bluey. Word travelled of Jack's feet and a shearing competition was announced. The search was on to find the world's greatest shearer. There was a golf medal on offer and Jack had his eye on it. You can't shear 300 sheep in one day, mate. No one can, said Bluey. Jack smiled. The competition was held at Alice Down Station. The shearers stood on the board waiting to get their first sheep. Dogs barked and sheep bleated as stockmen put the last of the sheep in the yards. Dink of lanolin and woolen tar wafted through the air. The boss stared down the line. He rang the bell and the sounds of snipping and clipping filled the air. Hey kids, I hope you're enjoying the book so far. I want to take a quick moment to remind you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you can stay updated and never miss out on our videos. It's free and it helps out a ton. There were tar boys, rouseabouts, wool classes, stockmen and squatters all crowded around to watch. Jack set a sizzling pace and as the day wore on, everyone expected him to slow down. But he didn't. Jack was shearing even faster. Jack clipped around the head of the sheep and delicately shaved their legs, sweeping the blade smoothly along their backs with the long blow. People watched wide-eyed. Jack fleeced the flock so swiftly, even the sheep looked stunned. Go Jack! Everyone shouted. You little ripper, Jack! As Jack near the record of 300 sheep, Terry Downs sided onto the board and jumped up onto Jack's back. But Jack didn't miss a beat. Some joker kept putting sheared sheep back into his catching pens, trying to slow him down. But it didn't stop Jack. His wrists flicked and his muscles flexed. His hands were a speedy blur. Kevy McLennan ambled up to Jack and started tickling him under his arms. Jack didn't even crack a grin. He just kept on shearing. Jack was unstoppable and he left his competition far behind. After 300 sheep, 
Jack had broken the record, but he kept on cheering. The crowd begged him to stop. They wanted to celebrate, but it was only after he cheered his 321st sheep that Jack put down his blade, wiped his brow, and put the last sheep gently into his pen. After seven hours and 40 minutes, Jack had sheared 321 sheep. It was unheard of. Jack was a shearing champion of Australia, the colonies and the world. There were handshakes all round. Everyone wanted to know Jack and everyone wanted him shearing in their sheds. Come on Jack, come and celebrate, they cried. Jack shook his head and smiled. Sorry lads, gotta go. And he left the shed with a pirouette and a wave of his hand. Thank you so much for joining me to read tonight. I hope you have a great night. And if you'd like to see my next book, remind mom and dad to subscribe. See you next time.